Good morning, everyone. Getting a slow start to the morning. I was up at 5, 5.15. I don't know, somewhere between 5 and 5.30 this morning. Um, my husband um, has classes all weekend, so um, he left and then I was up with like a terrible, terrible migraine this morning. So I took something and laid back down and then I slept until about 9.30. <laughs> and then I got up and took the dogs out and just kind of had some coffee and relaxed for a little bit. It, it's eased up, but um, it's not all the way gone. It's now, let's see. 10 30 10 24 and i'm getting ready to make some scrambled eggs josh requested some and i think i might eat a few too i'm still trying to um put in my walmart order as well so i need to finish that up and do the meal plan and then get ready for the day because i'm still in my pjs and my robe <laughs> so we're just gonna get these fried on up now and um, then we'll go get ready for the day after we eat. Not really fried, scrambled, whatever you want to say. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm surprised Pepper and Mason haven't started barking yet because they are always not too far away from Mom, are you, boys? You're not too far away from me at any time. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we had breakfast. I had another cup of coffee and um, my head has eased up a little bit more, thankfully. So we're going to go ahead and get ready. It's about 11.15 right now. And um, finally get my day started. I absolutely hate getting migraines because it pretty much ruins or steals half my day. I can't say it ruins half my day because I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still breathing and God bless me with another day. So it did not ruin my day. It's just kind of put a little bit of a delay on it. <laughs> so it's just a setback and you'll always keep that in mind. You know, life gives you setbacks all the time, but you have to thank God every day that you are still here and that he has blessed you tremendously even in the bad times you know we tend to only thank god in the good times but you really need to cling to him in the bad times and also you know give him thanks every day and no matter what you are going through because he is our savior he is our everything and without him we wouldn't have anything so always give him thanks no matter what um because like i said without him we wouldn't have anything so we are going to go and get our day started, and I just wanted to say thank y'all so much again for coming back for another video, and we've got a lot of stuff to get done. Um, it has rained, was it five straight days, six days? I can't even remember. Um, so, my garden has really shot up, but so has the grass and the weeds because I could not get out there to it. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to do because I don't want to damage anything, you know, with my plants. But I got to figure out how to get all of the weeds and stuff out. So, we'll see how I'm going to tackle that. But, anyways, let's go get started, y'all. Alright y'all, so I finished getting ready and I walked my pups, so we're going to 
get ready to head over to town. I need to go get my pickup order. I might look in the store. I don't know. I would like to go to Goodwill and see if they have anything. Um, just don't know if I'll have time for that or not. It is already two o'clock. I got stuck in the world of editing. Still have more to do, <laughs> but at least I'm a little bit closer. I had to come and get me a water from the pantry that I need to clean because it is a mess. Let me flip you around. So it's kind of like out of whack at the moment because you know when you get everybody in here going through stuff and raffling through it and all that um it kind of gets in a mess and i need to get in here and organize it so hopefully i can do that soon come on macy let's go mama's gotta go bye bye come on come on mace mason him don't listen half the time come on let's go come on mom's gotta shut the door the light the light automatically turns off so i don't have to worry about it it's really nice as soon as you open up the door it cuts on um and then when you leave it cuts off like a couple minutes later so it's a lot better than having to pull that cord or anything like that so anywho i guess that we better get to town right because when i get back i've got to clean up some dishes and just tidy up the house a little bit Got some stuff strewn all over the place. It's the life of having boys, I suppose. And <laughs> But anyways, I guess we better go ahead and get ready to go. Also, I wanted to mention that this video is in collaboration with my sweet friend, Bethany, over at Simply Bethany. I know y'all are going to love her if y'all haven't heard about her yet. Please make sure y'all go check her out. She is a mama of a little boy and a little girl, and they are absolutely precious. She is also a stay-at-home mama and she just does it all so please make sure y'all go and check her out she is so sweet she is a beautiful woman inside and out and i just absolutely love her so y'all make sure y'all go show her some love and if y'all are coming over from bethany's channel hello welcome to the family i'm so happy to have y'all here but we better get going y'all so come on let's go Watching sunrise paints my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden. Well, I think I might go do a little bit of self care. Yeah, I have not done anything for myself in a while. Um, so I think I'm going to go get a Manny and Petty done just to kind of relax for a little bit and take some time for myself. Since I had that really bad migraine this morning, um, still have a touch of a headache right now. So I'm hoping it don't come back because I really need to get some more stuff done today. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I've just, I might go relax a little bit and treat myself for once. Um, it is very important to do that if you can. So I was gifted um, something from a very dear and near friend of mine and you know who you are i just i don't like to mention names <laughs> um some people don't like that but um yeah she knows who she is so i am so thankful for her and very blessed with that blessing so we are going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to go get our groceries and um possibly go inside i need to find a couple things like something to pull those weeds up with or some landscaping fabric that way I can lay over top of the weeds and hopefully see if that'll help control it. Um, I mean, if they die off, then, you know, that's better. And then I can just go in there and kind of like rake them up. But them little boogers are hard to deal with if, you know, them, them weed roots are strong, y'all. <laughs> so we're gonna go see what we can find um, to kind of, get that under control let me just put it that way so that's where we're going now um when i get done in the nail with my mani petty then we'll go like i said pick up the groceries and whatnot and hopefully i'll be able to film inside the store so if it's not too crazy that is but if not i will see y'all when we get home all right y'all so i got my mani and petty done 
just went with pink this time and same for my toes but um i'm sitting here at walmart waiting for them to bring everything out and then we are going to head home uh don't really feel like going into walmart right now my head's wanting to hurt again so i might continue the vlog tomorrow if it starts to get worse but we'll have to wait and see so Anywho, I'm going to sit here and wait for them to bring out the groceries and then we're going to head back to the house. All right, y'all. So we are home. I just um, put all the groceries out on the table. So I've got to film that. The dogs are getting antsy, but we are going to have the ultimate meat pizza for supper tonight because I don't feel like cooking. Like I said, my head is still hurting. Um, I still want to take y'all out and show you the garden and show you everything that I got to do to it to get it degrassed, <laughs> per se. But I'm going to turn you around and flip you. Well, I'm going to turn you around and show you this pizza. So I actually picked this up at Feline on my way home, but it's just the ultimate meat pizza. Um, it's got Italian sausage, pepperoni, beef, steak, and bacon. Y'all, if you have a food line around y'all, y'all definitely need to go try this out because they are absolutely delicious. I mean, of course, you got to move the toppings around, but you got to do that with any kind of a frozen pizza. But these are the best ones. You cook it straight on the rack. And, um, yeah, they're just really good. Everything about them is good. And I love, a you know, an all-meat pizza. So, but I also like a Supreme pizza, too. But y'all know, it, it's good either way you go. But anyways, that is supper tonight, so we're gonna got one in the oven. Got to film uh -huh. this grocery haul, <laughs> so I can get that done, and then we gotta put everything up, and then probably the by that time the pizza will be done, and we can sit down and have some supper. We were made for each other to hold on to. I was hard down All right, y'all. So I got my pizza here. And then, of course, I got to have some ranch to go with it because it's like the perfect combination. But we're going to go ahead and sit down and have some supper now. And I don't know what we're going to be doing next. All right, y'all, so we're gonna walk outside. I have my son's sunglasses on. <laughs> my son's sunglasses. Um, we're gonna go out here and look at this garden. He's gonna mow the yard and stuff. Like I said, we had about six days of rain, five or six days, I know five um, of rain. So it's pretty weedy in here. Like I said, I've got to go and find some landscaping fabric or something because it is bad like i'm gonna have a time i have a feeling yeah but on the bright side it's doing really good all right so here are these tomatoes and i don't think i have any these, these are my lemon boys um i've got some blooms but i don't see no maters yet no maters yet same here i need to Pick him, put him back up inside this cage. I might go try to find some more because right now I just have these like um, sign holders. I mean, it's working. So, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> but I've got a lot of blooms on there too. Now, this one I need to tie up because it's, it's going places, as y'all can see. It is... It's just, it's just going to places. <laughs> I've got some blooms there. And of course, this one's going places too. I need to get it 
tied up because it's it's a little wonky as y'all can see the main stems here but um I got lots of blooms on it I just got my hair caught in that netting but this one I need to get it tied up as well but these are both super stakes like they are they are thick down at the bottom and then oh I got some more like I said I'm just using these signs here the little sign holder things until I can um, get some more tomato cages to help hold them but Y'all can see all them blooms. I don't have no matas yet though. I don't think I have matas on any of them. But look at all these blooms on the pepper plants. I'm gonna have a good pepper harvest, I have a feeling. All kinds. And then this thing has gotten way bigger from the last time I showed y'all what, like a week ago or something. But yeah, they were loving all this rain. But I got all kinds of blooms. And then my bean plants, they looking pretty good. Look at there. Oh, I've got blooms. I'm so excited, y'all. So excited. Here's my little bitty one. And then this is the bigger boy. And of course, those two tomatoes. This was that tomato plant that got eaten. And as y'all can see, it's coming back quite nicely. But y'all see all this? Look at all that. I got to I got to figure out something on this. And then this one, I can't remember what it was. I don't have, I'm pretty sure it's a beefsteak. Pretty sure. I don't see no baby tomatoes on it yet, but I do see some blooms right there. And then this is an orange. Oh, let's see about this one. I don't see no blooms quite yet. Let me tell y'all what, they loved. Oh yeah, there's some blooms. Look at there. I just love all this. Absolutely love it. And, of course, those are squash plants. Look at all these. My goodness. Coming up quite nicely. I don't see no blooms or anything just yet, but hopefully, hopefully they'll be coming. I'm so excited. I love me some squash. And like I said, y'all can see the three. One bean there, there's a bean there, and then I got two more right here. And then here's some carrots that finally <laughs> started to come back up. Um, yeah, it's the only ones, aren't they? Yep. Nope, I got, I might have some right here. I knew I planted some more. I don't see any other ones though. And then, pretty sure that's just a weed. Need to pull it the rest of the way up. My poor little cucumber, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Um, that's a weed. <laughs> but this is my only cucumber. Two plants right here. So I'm excited. We're gonna we're gonna hold on to that one for a little bit longer. But yeah, coming along nicely. You can definitely see how much work I've got to do um, getting this grass up. Like I said, next year we can till it back out when everything's done, and then I'll start off with that landscaping fabric and everything. I tried to get as much as those dirt clops out with the grass in it, but. Everything's a learning experience and you can always learn from anything. So, but we finally got everything put up from the grocery haul. I think I might've just stepped on a bee because it is hurting really bad. Look at my hair where it got caught in that net. <laughs> but, um, sun's deciding to come back out too. Um, I don't know how much more we'll have on this vlog, but I hope you enjoyed it so far. I need, ooh -wee, my foot's hurting y'all. <laughs> Let me go show y'all my lettuce over here because the last time I showed y'all it wasn't as tall as it is now. So I'm so excited. I love lettuce of any kind. 
my hair has a mind of its own. I've been out and busy today. Look at all this beauty. Look at this. I am so, so excited for all of this. It looks absolutely, is that a bug? Get off, get off my lettuce bug. But I think I have like different mixes in here. Can't remember exactly what kind, but isn't that just lovely? Oh my goodness, y'all. That's gonna make some good salads, sandwiches. Mm, y'all, so good. Homegrown stuff just tastes the best. Y'all look at these beauties right here. I really gotta get them put in the ground. I'm gonna try to do that maybe tomorrow too. We're gonna get them in the ground and have a little bit of a later harvest of some tomatoes. We're gonna get them put in there. And this right here is just some, I don't know the technical name of it, but just some black basil. It smells so good, but they keep the bugs away too, so. Just like that. 